A Saskatoon City Councillor has joined together with a couple of Saskatchewan dads who have lost loved ones in drunk driving crashes. As part of a partnership with Mad Canada, there is a movement underway to get a memorial built in Saskatoon for those killed in impaired driving incidents in Saskatchewan. Councillor Randy Donauer is putting this request to City Council next month. Hi Randy. Hi Joe. How did you get involved in pushing for this memorial? Uh, Mr. Vandervoorst reached out to me and indicated that he and the Kirpin family uh, were interested in getting a memorial put up in the city of Saskatoon. It'll be uh, for the entire province of Saskatchewan and they approached me and uh, I ended up referring the matter to uh, City Hall. Um, it didn't work out the way they wanted and so as a councillor I'm having to uh, get City Council involved now. How, what didn't work out? What needs to change going forward? Well, they had a proposal where a memorial would be paid for uh, by MAD and um, erected in a Saskatoon park. When we referred the matter to the administration, they were receptive to the idea of a memorial, but they wanted it to go in the cemetery. And this is a significant issue in the city of Saskatoon and the province of Saskatchewan right now. So in addition to it being a memorial, we also wanted to to partially be a public awareness campaign and keep this in the front of people's minds to think before they drive. And so we think that uh, we've got miles and miles of uh, MVA trail here in Saskatoon, lots of city parks. We think that putting it in, in a place that's more populated and more animated would be more appropriate to uh, help keep this in the forefront of people's minds. There are lots of parks. Is there one you have in mind that you in particular would like to see this memorial go to? They, they are suggesting either Rotary Park or Kinsman Park. Um, both of those would be at or near the Riverbank in Saskatoon and I'd be fine with either one of those. Tell me more about why it's important to do this. You talked about obviously this problem that we have in Saskatchewan with drinking and driving. There's so many cases of this. Yeah, we have the highest rates of any province in the country and we have for quite some time. It's an issue that we need to get more aggressive in dealing with. And that, that's why in addition to having a province-wide memorial that's actually going to have the names of all the victims of drunk driving uh, affixed on it, we also wanted it to be uh, something that would be a, a public awareness campaign. A and I think City Council will probably support this motion because um, the issue sort of came up last fall when we were discussing at budget time that we may be losing some of our funding from the province dedicated to Saskatoon's police force and in the end I don't think we did but the discussion at the time was that some of that funding was used to do traffic stops on drunk driving and at the time the mayor and a couple other councillors uh, we made comments on how important it was for us to continue that even if we did lose that money it would be important for us to continue that programming to both educate the public and make sure that we're getting drunk drivers off the road and so I'm hoping that my motion will find some support this Wednesday at Council as well. And how would it be paid for? MAD has actually uh, got a proposal already and they're proposing to fund it. They have the money in place, they have the plan in place. Administration is uh, welcoming of uh, putting a memorial up in Saskatoon. Really what we're asking to do is to have council weigh in on whether it should be uh, off in the cemetery or perhaps in a more visible location. Thanks for your time today, Randy. I appreciate it. Anytime, Jill. Enjoy your weekend. You too.